what exactly is daylight savings time? I mean, I know what it is, but like, why do we do it? I mean, it can't be just because we want more day and sun for a day. I just feel like that's not a real enough reason that a whole country abides by such a thing where we spring forward and then go back in the fall. That takes a lot of work to convert people to follow something like that. How is it implemented? Was some congressman just like, yo, I want more sun in the daytime. I'm gonna write this bill called Daylight Savings and you guys better vote for it. And did everybody just vote for it? And then it became a whole, what we know today as Daylight Savings time. I mean, really, and then how was it implemented? Like, you're gonna force people to like, you pull their clock forward in the spring and then back in the fall and everybody just like listened? Or how was this implemented and enforced? Like, that's so crazy that we just follow this. Not that I'm complaining, because I love that when I get out of work, it's actually bright. Now. I mean, it sucks losing the hour of sleep on Sunday, but it really is nice to come out of work. And, you know, it's 4 p.m. and it's not nighttime. I mean, who likes it when it's like 3.30 and it's already starting to get dark? So I get that it's a cool thing. There's got to be a real reason to it beyond just, hey, we want more sun and day in the daytime. And speaking of, is it just an American thing? I feel like Western countries do it. Is it just an American thing? But then I heard Arizona doesn't always do it. So like, how does that work? Like they just get away with it and not spring forward? I wonder if because they're in the desert. Okay, so if it's a desert thing, I mean, what about all the deserts in Asia and Africa? I wonder if the countries in Africa and Asia do daylight savings time. But then I heard Japan and Korea does it. So then if it is a geographical location kind of thing, maybe because in the desert and places where it's really hot weather, people don't want the day to be longer because you're like dying from the uncomfortable heat. But then that doesn't make sense because I heard East Coast in America is super hot, like uncomfortably hot. I don't know, like who convinced everybody to follow this daylight savings time deal? And if we spring forward, aren't we not really on the right time, if that makes sense? No, but then again, I guess we go back in the fall so that balances it out? I don't know. Even though it balances out, why do I feel like daylight savings time kind of screws with the whole spectrum of time? I mean, is it even really 2016? How does that fit in with leap years? Oh my gosh. And if some countries like America do daylight savings time, and let's say some countries don't, we're not really on the same time scale. What is time? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little bit. I've been having a hard time kind of getting back in the flow at work and I found myself blaming daylight savings even after, I mean, it's been a week already since we sprang forward. I like caught myself saying daylight savings time is still screwing me over because I can't like wake up and be alert in the morning. But I know it's just a dumb excuse for my terrible sleeping patterns, which I've already always had. And I just kinda, I started thinking about daylight savings and I started thinking about it more because my coworker told me that they don't have it in Japan, daylight savings in Japan. So I kinda looked into it more and then it just got me thinking all about like time and how it works and why we do it and some people don't and just, I started going way over my head. And so really fun fact that I learned from this, my friend just told me, Daylight savings time was made based on World War II. They wanted to save energy by working in the natural sunlight and thus daylight savings time. Let me know what you think about daylight savings time. Do you like it or do you hate it? If you liked my video today, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out my website. And if you'd like to see more, you can always follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Doris. Hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching.